on this super cook Sunday. I got big plans, y'all. I'm getting everything set up right now. Shelly found these pork chops on sale. Look at that. And there's like either 10 or 12. I can't really make it out. There may be some more uh, up underneath this uh, label here, or the price tag rather. But there's at least 10 of them in here. I'm fixing to doctor them with this Tony Shasheri's Creole seasoning. And then this says flat iron, but we actually were use, reusing that container because I like the uh, opening on it. And this is our uh, seafood seasoning. And this is going to go on this salmon. So my plan is I'm going to take all of this you see right here and smoke it, except for the salad. This is going to be my uh, dinner later. I'm going to top the salad with the salmon. For the salad, I'm going to have some red onion. Not pictured is my tomatoes. They're over on another table over there. I forgot to get everything out, obviously. And then I have this uh, pre-shredded Swiss and Gruyere cheese. I'm going to add to it as well. And then you see an onion here. I'm going to slice that up. Add to this pan, along with one of these jalapenos and these cauliflower florets. I'm gonna smoke all of this all at the same time. And then right when the uh, when the here's what the plan is. I'm sorry. When my pork chops are done, this salmon should take a little longer. So when it I'm gonna load everything at the same time. Once my pork chops are done, I'm gonna pull the florets back out. I'm gonna add some of this dip cauliflower, I mean, no, um, buffalo ranch dip from Primal Kitchen. We found on discount at um, Sprouts the other day. So it's basically half off. So I'm just gonna add that to it as well. So yeah, I'm gonna slice up a jalapeno and the onions, add to the florets. I'm gonna smoke all of that. Then I'm gonna add, but first I'm gonna load my Instant Pot with my eggs. So you also know how I eat my four hard-boiled eggs every day. Well, actually, I'm going to add a couple of extra to it today. I'm going to smoke all of them. I mean, I'm going to cook all of them in the Instant Pot, but I'm going to add two extra to add to my salad here in a little bit. This could be my meal prep for the rest of the week. So I'm going to have probably the salmon for lunch today. And then this pork chop, I'll have one of them for dinner tonight. Since I'm already having it cooked, why not? And then I'll have uh, the pork chop for the rest of the week for my lunch. And then I'll take a couple of these eggs and make some uh, dirty scrambled eggs today. I'll fry up some bacon here in a second to add some grease to the pan. So I got a big cook ahead of me, y'all. I got to get busy. So now I have my eggs loaded in my Instant Pot. I'm going to put the lid on it. Then, oh, my phone's going to fall on me. Fantastic. Now I'm just going to cook it for five minutes. All right, and there's a quarter of an onion. I just chopped it up. This is going to be added to the cauliflower. And then I diced up the other quarter and added it to the mushrooms and jalapeno innards. This is going to my eggs. So my plan is I'm going to open this package of pork chops, season them on top of this foil pan, then lay them out on the grill or on the smoker to let them cook. And then I'm going to pour these cauliflower florets into this pan along with the uh, onions and seasoning from the pork chops. And then I'll take the piece of slant salmon laid on this foil pan, season it and throw everything together on the grill. So I got everything loaded on the pit and it ended up being exactly 10 pork chops, that one salmon. I got two jalapenos I'm gonna smoke as well and then I'll slice them up and use them later. And then I got that cauliflower and onion mixture in this pan. I'm gonna let these go for a few hours. I have my probe set for 145 so I can check the pork. Cause it says it should take two to three hours to smoke these and then three to four hours on this salmon. So I'm gonna check the pork first. When I go to pull it, I'm gonna go check, or uh, yeah, double check the temperature on the salmon and see if it's ready yet. So I have my skillet heating up with all my vegetables in there. Here's the uh, innards, like I said, of the uh, jalapeno. I'm just chopping it up. I'm gonna let this saute for just a few minutes and then I'll add my eggs. 
So all this veg is sauteed as much as I'd like. Or look as I want to anyways. So now I'm going to add all these eggs. Y'all saw me the other night when I was uh, building this container full of the veg. I just mixed the eggs in the same one so any remnants got in there as well. So now I'm just let this cook down and then we'll plate it up and eat. Oh yeah, I also forgot. I added some of these crumbled bacon to it as well. And truth be told, this skillet right there is the same one we used Friday night to make that uh, barbecue shrimp. This is my favorite way to clean the cast iron skillet. Leave all the remnants in there and then do a batch of scrambled eggs in it. That is like the best way to clean it out, I feel like. Let's hurry up and eat. And here is my plate of dirty eggs. It's got six scrambled eggs with some bacon bits, all them veg and mushrooms in mixing it and a little bit of that uh, shredded cheese. And then I topped it with some of this salsa. Alrighty folks, everything came to temp. So I'm fixing to start pulling it, bringing it inside. And that's what the cauliflower looks like now. I'm really pleased with it. I tried a little piece after I mixed in this sauce and it tastes really good y'all. Might be a new thing we do on the regular. So I'm gonna get this pulled inside and in the oven to hold it warm until I'm ready to eat because that was a big old breakfast I had. Now here are all those pork chops. I did not glaze them because I'm thinking they'll work better if I do that at the end right before I eat. So I'm gonna get these into the fridge and this will be my meal prep for the week. So y'all, you know I'm horrible at following instructions. This is supposed to be the 555 method for these eggs. I just do my own. I cook them for five and I let them sit until I can get back to them. And then I put them in a gallon, like gallon jug. I put ice in the bottom of this so they'll be cool. And then I'm gonna slap this in the fridge and once the ice melts, I'll just pour this off and leave the eggs in there. And I'll just get them every day. And just, it fits in the fridge easier this way for me. And they turn out fine. They taste great to me. And y'all notice I eat you typically four of these every single day. All right, so let me get this thing unloaded and get this in the fridge. Alrighty, folks, you see my fridge is pretty stacked, right? Every day I have to do this. I have to basically play Jenga to get my stuff in here. And this is a leftover uh, tea from um, Dutch I have. I'm gonna finish this off today and get it out of here. And usually what I do is I'll save these cups. I throw away the straw in the lid, but I'll save the cup. And every day I just throw my eggshells in that. Once this cup is full of eggshells, then I just pitch it. But if you notice, there's one very, there's one right there. That's what I've been working on. So I just put it in the very back because it fits. So I gotta rearrange all this and get those eggs in there. I know, fun times, right? So like I was saying, I'm basically playing Jenga. I just grab this, move it out of the way, slide that back in there. And the way this fridge is designed in the back, that cup fits back in that back corner right behind my gallon jug. So just rinse and repeat every single day. Alrighty folks, and here's that salmon topped on a nice chef salad. And then I use some more of that buffalo dip as a dressing, because I read on the back that it needs to be used within seven days. So let's go ahead and use it on everything. <laughs> and I gotta give another shout out to Mom and Bear Lynette for this pineapple Zevia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And here's the results from, from that smoked pork chops. Here's what I'm having one of them right now for my dinner, along with the cauliflower that I diced onions and sliced that uh, smoked jalapeno and added it to it. And then I topped it all with some more of that buffalo sauce.